Good morning all. Welcome to Exana Cell 65. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important current affairs of 14 and 15 March 2022. Please watch the video till the end. We will ask you a question at the end of this video. Please type your answer in comment section. Let's dive in. Which state has started unique ID systems for land parcels? The answer is Assam. The unique land parcel identification number ULPAN conceptualized under the MMT Digital India Land Records Modernization Program of Department of Land Resources was launched for Assam. The program was launched virtually in the presence of UNA Minister of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Giriraj Singh. The initiative plans to issue a 14 digit alphanumeric geospatial unique identification number which can be touted as PU Aadhaar for every land parcel of the state. Who is the Union Minister of Rural Development and Panjati Raj? Giridat Singh. Let's talk about Assam. Assam is located here in the India map. Where is the capital of Assam? Dispur. Who is the Chief Minister of Assam? Himanta Biswa Sarma. Who is the governor of Assam? Jagadish Mukti. Assam government would be soon launched a portal inviting suggestions for change of names of places across Assam that do not reflect the culture and civilization of the state. The Assam government has recently decided to increase the size of Orak National Park that is situated in Assam. Assam is famous for Assam tea and Assam silk. There are two UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Assam, Kasiranka National Park and Manas National Park, which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites situated in Assam. Dipru Saikova National Park, that is famed for feral horse, also situated in Assam. Pi Day observed on March 14. Pi Day is an annual celebration of the mathematical constant Pi. Pi Day observed on March 14, 3 by 14 in the month by day format. Since 3, 1 and 4 are the first three significant digits of Pi. World Consumer Rights Day observed on March 15. The consumer movement marks 15th March with World Consumer Rights Day every year as a means of raising global awareness about consumer rights and needs. Celebrating the day is a chance to demand the rights of all consumers are respected and protected and to protest against the market abuses and social injustices which undermine those rights. World Consumer Rights Day was inspired by President John F. Kennedy who sent a special message to the U.S. Congress on 15th March 1962 in which he formally addressed the issue of consumer rights. He was the first world leader to do so. The consumer movement first marked that date in 1983 and now uses the day every year to mobilize action on important issues and campaigns. What is the theme of Consumer Rights Day 2022? Fair Digital Finance Who is the Union Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution? Piyush Goyal. S. Rangamoni, who passed away, was a journalist. S. Rangamoni was the senior journalist and former deputy editor of the Hindu. Who is India's new ambassador to China? Pradeep Kumar Rawat. An Indian Foreign Service officer of the 1990 batch. Pradeep Kumar Rawat was previously India's ambassador to the Netherlands. Rawat appoints comes in the midst of the lingering eastern Ladakh border standoff. Where is the capital of China? Beijing. Who is the president of China? Xi Jinping. What is the currency of China? Ren Manbi. Who has appointed as NFRA chief? The answer is Ajit Bhushan Pandey. 
Ajay Bhushan Pandey has been appointed as the chairman of the National Financial Reporting Authority for a period of three years. What is National Financial Reporting Authority? It is an independent regulator set up to oversee the auditing provision and accounting standards in India under the Companies Act 2013. It came into existence in October 2018. Who has broken Kabil Dev's record of fastest test 50 by an Indian? Rishabh Pant. Wicket keeper batter Rishabh Pant broke the legendary Kabil Dev's 40 year old record of fastest test 50 by an Indian on the second day of the match against Sri Lanka. India's first World Cup winning skipper Kabil Dev had cracked a 30-ball half-century against Pakistan in the Karachi Test in 1982. Who has appointed as the chairman of Air India? N. Chandrasekharan N. Chandrasekharan, the chairman of Tata Sons, has been appointed as the chairman of Air India. His appointment was approved by the board. The appointment of General Insurance Corporation, former CMD, Alice Guy Varghese Biden, on Air India's board as an independent director have also been approved. Which city has become the first South Asian city to detail net zero out carbon emission roadmap? The answer is Mumbai. Mumbai announced detailed plans to zero out carbon emissions by 2050, a target that puts it two decades ahead of India's national goal and makes it the first city in South Asia to set such a timeline. Let's take the previous two questions and answer. Who has appointed as the chairperson of IRDA, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India? The answer is Devashish Panda. The former DFL secretary Devashish Panda, a retired IAS officer, has appointed as the chairperson of the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India which is the insurance regulator. The IRDA is a 10-member body with a chairman, 5 all-time members and 4 part-time members. What is IRDA? The Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India is a regulatory body that tasked with regulating and licensing the insurance and reinsurance industries in India. It was constituted by the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority Act 1999, an act of parliament passed by the Government of India. IRDA formed in 1999, where is the headquarters of IRDA, Hyderabad, who is the Union Minister of Finance, Nirmala Sitharaman. Question of the day, Dupai Banda, who passed away, was the former president of which country? Please type your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please share it with your friends. Also, leave your feedback in the comment section. To get daily current affairs notes, subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.